Welcome back, challengers. 10W3C's Daily Capture the Flag Challenge. Today we're going to be looking at crossword puzzle number three. So let's go into that retired section. We're going to find crossword puzzle number three. Once we open that up, it says go to the following website, crosswordlabs.com forward slash embed forward slash NW3CTF3 and complete the crossword puzzle. It can be manually filled in online or printed out for future reference. If the correct answers are filled in on the website, then the letters will be green. The wrong answer will show red letters. Then download and use crossword phrase number 3RTF and follow the instructions in order to get the flag, which is a website address. The website address will be in the form of www.flag. Org. So whatever we find out is going to be the flag there. Use that information to answer the two questions for this challenge. And that first question is, what is the IP address of the website? So as we see, we have the file with an MD5 hash value. Let's download that file. Then I'm going to open up my terminal window. I'm going to type in the MD5 command. Once I type in the MD5 command, I'm going to throw and drag and drop that, that file on there. And then I'm going to hit enter. And I'll see that I have a hash value, 7C0 ending in FE. 4, 7, and I have the correct file, so I'm good to go on that. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the crossword puzzle itself. This one was more generated towards things you might find dark web, deep web, etc. Looking into website addresses and how to get some stuff there. So if I look at number eight down, I can see blank blank locator usually called a URL. That would be a uniform resource locator. So uniform resource is my word. So number nine says the condition of being anonymous. That one's just going to simply be anonymity. Then if we scroll down to and look through some others, I found another one here. Uh, let's see. Um, 12 across. Blank, blank networks typically called a LAN. So LAN is going to be a local area network. Now if you figured out all these and went through them, you'd be able to answer the RTF and let's open that up. So if we go to the RTF file, we can see the structure of the phrase or website in this can be found using the location of the crossword puzzle and then identify the letter in the word. Remember to put spaces between words when you enter the flag, if there are spaces. If a computer was two across in the crossword and we want to use the P, then the hint would be two across fourth letter. So one down, third letter, etc. I've already gone through and I've answered all these for you. But if we went down, one down, third letter is I. Seven across, fourth letter is A. If you went down through that, you would see it says IACP Cyber Center. So we have IACP Cyber Center. And if we go back to our initial question, by closing down some of these windows, it says entered in the form of www.iacpcybercenter.org. So it says, what's the IP address of that website? Here's a nice little tool or website. You can go to whois.domaintools.com and then simply enter that in. There's many websites that will do this or other tools, but this is just one of them. And once we enter that in and say search, we can see International Association of Chiefs of Police. And if we scroll down, we'll eventually get to where it says IP address. So I could always copy and paste that. And if I copy and paste that and put it right in to the flag, then you will see I get the correct answer. So we can move on to the second question. Owner registrar. It says, what is the registrar's abuse contact phone number? If we go back, we can see right in the middle, or right near the top, I should say, registrar, and it says who is at web.com. So we get the phone number right there. Fortunately, I can't just copy and paste that because it's an image. But as usual, with all our all of our other crosswords, I'm going to put up the answers here for you to go through and look at in just a moment and verify you have all the right stuff. Thanks for coming. Thanks for playing. And we'll see you on the next challenge.